Welcome back everyone to another episode of TK's Let's Play. This is Track King 25 and no, not Track Prince 25. I am officially back on the server and I can log on easily, no problem. But let me just show you a little bit of the work that I did off camera. So over there at that sheep farm, you can see that I added fence posts there and lights. Don't know why, but I did it. <laughs> I did it. And over here, I've actually extended out the pathway for the barn over here and made it a little bit I guess you can say more appealing. I put one of the lamps in the center over there and I made a circle over there. It's not a perfect circle. Didn't want it to be a perfect circle, so I just went around a little, I guess, template and then I came up with this. So it's pretty cool. But last episode, look at the job that Track Prince 25 did. I mean, look how ugly this area is. I, he didn't even do a variation in the floor and there's so many mobs spawning on the top over there. He didn't put any lights. It's just awful. Track Prince 25. You should just stick to building, not building, you should stick to a camera count because building is not your strong point. You cannot build at all. But what I'll be doing in this episode here is just giving a little variation to the floor and try and make it sort of like a run down barn. Sort of like a an old timing barn. Since I'm going for the classic red barn look. And actually over here, if we run over to the silo, you can see that I finally added all the redstone lamps. And there is a lot of redstone lamps. So originally I was going to have pretty much the carrots, wheat, sugarcane, and all the other farmable stuff in here. But since the sugarcane farm is pretty massive and the other farms, it's going to be a tight fit. What I just did is I just, in my live stream actually, you should go check this out. They're, they're fun to watch. And uh, what I did is I just put a giant chest sorting system bobber thingy over here. Filled up with sugarcane. You can see that I've got to that level over there because I've used a lot for rockets. But... I want to try and get to the top of this. I mean, how many chests is that? Um, a lot. I can't even count. I can't, I can't count that high. I can't count that high, guys. <laughs> so there's a lot of chests over there, and I don't think I'll ever get to the top. But maybe that'll be a goal for this series in trying to fill out the silo. So that's cool. And also, if you saw my redstone video on Sunday, I have designed a pretty cool automatic wheat, carrot, and potato farmer with bobber thingy. Everything's a farmer with bobber today. And I'm gonna be plopping that somewhere in this barn over here. I don't know where, but I need a a bit of space to try and Oh, I made you get fall damage. Now it's gonna be easy to kill you. Oh, or maybe not, maybe not. Oh no no, no. bad move. Whoa, whoa I got that. I had that covered. But yeah, I'll be trying plopping down this farmer bobber somewhere in here. It uh, needs about maybe 10 blocks in space and diameter and perimeter and blockage. But uh, it should fit and give me a lot of sugar cane, not sugar cane, carrots, wheat, and potatoes. And I have to do nothing. The villagers will do all the work for me. The only problem is I need to supply it with bone meal. So what I'm going to be doing is going back to my slime farm slash mob farm over there. If I can see it, yeah, that little chunk right over there. And doing a bit of AFKing over here to build up my bone. I wonder how much bones I have, actually. It's been a while since I've been over here. But actually, I probably guys don't remember what it looks like. Because in another live stream, I've done a little bit of decorating and just come blocks that I need to replace. But everything is sorted now with gunpowder, arrows, those, those, that, this, and the other. And yeah, I get all my drops out of there, the bombs suffocate in the water, and then go into the hoppers, and then go in a little storing system in the back, and it's very laggy, so I do apologize to this, guys, I do apologize for this. I have a shulker box over here, I should probably bring that back. But I'll be doing a little bit of AFK over here, just so I can stock up on the bones. I, I think I have a, a decent amount right now, I should put some item frames over there too, I think I'm going to do that too. Um, you have a decent amount, because my farm needs a lot of bones. I mean, worst comes to worst, if I run out of bones, it still works, but it's going to be very, very slow. But hopefully I can get a lot from this AK session, so I'll see you guys when I'm done. Well, my mob farm worked very well. You can see right over here, I got a couple stacks of bone blocks, which should tie over that farm for a very long time. And if you didn't notice, in the top of the barn over here, I opened the window. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with this window, but I'm probably doing something. I feel like, um, I feel like Batman when I'm in this window, to be honest. It's just like flying down, like da na 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 Anyway, <laughs> anyway, what I'm going to do for the floor over here is pretty simple. If I have a whole bunch of stairs, which I do not on me, I'm pretty much just going to make grooves in the ground and every other block or so, just place some stairs down just to give it a little bit of variation in the floor. I was going to use dark oak at first, but then I found it was way too dark and then oak is too light and I need something between oak and dark oak, which is spruce, I guess. 
but something I guess in between spruce and uh, and oak only because it's it's just it's too it's too dark it's too dark the dark oak but something like this just breaking the floor here and there just random spots probably where those torches are just so I don't have to break blocks then I'm gonna put down some stairs just to give it a little variation in the floor I'm just do a little part over here uh, break 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 heartbreaker got the best of me all right yes yeah, just like that uh, and then just <laughs> okay throw down a step like that apparently uh yeah okay throw down steps like that like there 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 and then just twist it around every now and then just twist 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 and then the see it'll give a little variation in the floor just yeah like that making it an old floor i guess when i put the hay bales across over there it's gonna look really nice i might add a little bit more together say like a couple over there just connecting each other uh, like that and then Probably that one there, and just a couple more holes, just to give it a big variation in the floor. But that is great. Now, what I'll be doing in this area right over here now is building the farm, redstone farm, that I made on Sunday, which I find is really cool. It eats away bone meal like there's no one's business, so you're going to need a lot of bone meal if you want to build this farm, but I, I love it. And I know a lot of people have the, uh, yeah, I guess that works, have the uh, farm where the villager tosses the food to the other guy, and oh, come on, I gotta stop placing like that. Toss the food to the other villager and stuff like that. Well, this one, it's the same pretty much concept, just it's a whole lot faster. And pretty, if you need bone, not bone meal, if you need like carrots, sweets, and potatoes and really fast, you get about the chest in about 30 minutes, which is great. And well, I guess if you leave it running for like five hours, you'll get, uh, you'll get a lot. So that's what I'm gonna build. And I guess with the bone meal, like I'll have to replace it every now and then. But I'll use that for my villager trading to get my emeralds back up because I've, I'm in lack of emeralds. I think that's all the squares. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, it looks like that. Uh, that looks great. I think when I add a little bit more detail into the ground, it's going to look a whole lot better. But uh, the barn is coming along very nicely. Now, in terms of building that farm, it's about seven blocks wide. And I think, no, seven blocks long. And how many blocks wide? Maybe five blocks wide now thinking of putting the farms I guess in the corners right over here in the corner over there uh, it's gonna be hard they could be actually they can be on the top row I haven't I haven't really established where I want the top row to be hmm that's weird I thought someone was standing over there before oh I guess no one was there uh, yeah I haven't really established where I want the top row to be because I do want to see those banisters over there and oh, Way to ruin me. Uh, I don't think you want to touch me, zombie. I don't think you want to touch me. I have this sword on me. I'll give you one last chance. If you hit me, you're going to hit. I warned him. <laughs> I warned him. That was a big lag spike. But yeah, I don't really know because I wanted to see those banisters. And uh, let me just get to the top over there. Rocket power. Damn, 68 levels. Jeez. <laughs> I am racking the levels now. And uh, I knew that was going to happen. Oh, I'm going to hit the wall. Oh, I'm going to die. Jeez. Nope. Death number three is not happening anytime soon. Okay, well, let me just land here safely. Okay. Perfect. So, uh, I wanted to maybe see if I had a lot of room in the top over there. Because if I put the floor pretty much at that level over there, uh, it still gives me a lot of room. It is a big barn. I keep underestimating, underestimating the size of the barn. But then it's going to look weird because I want to be able to see the top of the roof and stuff. So that's why the second floor might... Uh, it might not happen over here. Uh, the only other thing that I was thinking about doing for the second floor is making pretty much the stuff over here and then the second floor only being in the corner over there. So you'll see some builds pretty much get built up in the corner. And as I see that, the zombie gets hit. And if you drop down here, you're going to... Oh, he's going to die up there anyway. So that's what that's what I mean. The second floor might just be up in the corner there. Just because I want to see these bastards and just make sure there's no creeper behind me. When I walk in like that, but then it leaves a lot of room for building in this barn. So let me see real quick where I'm gonna build the floor. So I actually just put in a top row for the barn over here, and I think it looks nice. Let me just give you a quick fly down over here, and hopefully I don't hit the rafters anymore. So yeah, the top row is gonna look like that, and then you may notice that I actually put in the back wall. I realized that uh, yeah, the barn needs a back wall. I never know why. I'd didn't fill it in when I was building the barn, but I put in the back wall there, and you can see that's going to be the top area over there, but I have a lot of area to work with because the barn is pretty big, and there's going to be 
pretty much some gaps in the barn. You can see I'm trying not to look at the Enderman. Let me just let me just deal with this Enderman. Uh, freak out! <laughs> oh, that's I'm freaking out now. Okay, well you're probably gonna see death by Enderman in this episode. Ooh, was that him? No. Okay. Uh, yeah, but you can see like there's a pretty big area, and there's gonna be a gap in between this floor over there and that area over there. So I'm gonna have to try and do a little bit of magic to work things out. But if I fly to the top over there through my bat manhole, uh, I'm not gonna make it. Let me just do around. And sorry about the rain. I I can't do anything about the weather. I can't. And hopefully I don't hit. Yes. All right. Perfect. Ah, uh, I almost made it. <laughs> you can fly around the barn, which is pretty good, and I'm having so much trouble. Wow, okay. Um, so if I can make it up here eventually... Oh, I thought I was gonna die, I thought I was gonna die. Yeah, if I can make it up here eventually, I'll show you what I want to do with these back windows over there. So the barn, it doesn't really line up like the front over there. The rafters actually go to the end, and I'm I'm fine with that. It's, it's not a big deal. It doesn't really change much to it. But for the windows in the back area, what I was thinking about doing is just putting stairs just like that, 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 and that. And yeah, probably use the slabs too. Let me see a couple there. Boom, boom. Hmm. Hmm. And maybe actually adding stairs over there too just to finish out the window. It's going to be a little bit off, but nope. Yeah, that looks perfect. That's going to be perfect for that window. So let me just copy that design right over here. With a stair, with a stair, and over there, and over there. I think there too. There too, and then slab, slab. Perfect. Back window is looking nice. I was going to put something on the top over there, but that kind of takes the middle area. But I'm, I'm fine with that black wall over there. And that is good. And you can see that, uh, look, it looks like an attic, actually, with those pillars going up and the support beams. So I like this area. I might continue it out to that beam over there. It depends how big I want this farm area to be. But what I'm going to do right now is set up the farm uh, for the automatic carrot, wheat, and potato. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to fit it back over here. It would fit in this area, just because the villager would be roughly... Uh, it's, a, it's odd blocks there. Um, well, the villager, I guess, would be standing right over here. And then it should be tall enough for the villager stuff to other potatoes. Yeah, it should be good. And eventually, I think, uh, what I'll do, because uh, I was going to do the storage at the top. Oh, actually, you know what? Look look at that. Like I said, like it's an attic. So what I can do, if I want, I'll see what it looks like first, is I can actually continue out this floor. Uh, I thought I had more oak. I guess I have no more oak. By continuing out this floor over here, yeah, yeah, that that might work. And let me let me see what half of it looks like into this pillar and see if I'll uh, I'll put that out. But um, yeah, let me just let me just see what the roof looks like first, and then I'll start with the uh, villager farm. So I like the look of extending out the roof over there. So I'm gonna keep that there, there, and we'll see what happens. I might even extend the roof all the way out in the sides there. Maybe if I need more storage, but for now, it's going to be like this. Now, I'm going to build that villager, carrot, wheat, potato, and bobber farm thing. And if you didn't see my tutorial on it, I released it on Sunday, the day before this episode. And yeah, it's pretty cool. I really love it. And if you don't want to go to that tutorial, I, I recommend you should. It's better than this. I'm going to give you a little speed tutorial of it right now. So, how you start off with is you get a chest right here. You put the chest, boom, right there <laughs> you just put a chest down more or less and then you need to get out a hopper and then hopper going into that chest there and then on top of the hopper you need to put a slab a slab fine i'm just using that then you place a grass block down and this is a grass block where the brown coat villager is going to be standing now you have to build the um what you can call it the uh pretty much the method to make the crops automatically grow so you need to get an observer block you need to place it this way and then make sure that the face is looking at that dirt block over there perfect when you do that everything is all good and fancy then you need to get out some other blocks i guess i'll use oak planks only because i'm on an oak plank thingy and you place a block down there a block there and then a block up over there then you need to get out some redstone and a dispenser so you go back to the shulker box because you know you're never prepared for this kind of stuff and now you get the red that's dispenser right yeah perfect and there we go redstone dispenser and then on this block over there you want to place redstone dust and then you come back over here and you place the dispenser facing this way now this is the dispenser that you're going to be filling up with bone meal i've gone into full tutorial mode and i love it now you just have to get out some random blocks i like using glass blocks only because it's clear and you can see what's happening 
Then next to the slab right over there, what you want to do is place a glass block over there. And then on top of this glass block, you need to place a slab. And then on top of that slab, you need to place an iron fence. And now I don't know if I have any iron fences in here. But luckily, I have iron on me. And boom, boom, boom. Iron fence. No. Iron trap door. Iron door. Whatever it's called. Let's see what it's called. Iron trap door. Yeah, I was right the first time. And place an iron trap door on top of that slab there. Boom. And that is good to go. Now you just have to trap in all the villagers. And then to do that, you just place a slab there, slab there. And then with the glass, you just go boom, boom. And then slab there. Now that villager is going to be trapped once I place a glass block over here. And then a slab over there. So he cannot go anywhere. Break that. Get your block back. Or not. Not so touch. And now for the last villager, you have to place a slab right over here. And I love using oak and spruce for some reason. <laughs> I think all my builds are going to be oak and spruce in this building. And, meh. I could just trap him like this. Yeah, I'll just trap him like this, just like I did in the tutorial. So you just place blocks around like that. And you are good to go. The last thing you need to do is just fill up this dispenser with bone meal. And that's basically the farm done. I... I pretty much did it right on the first shot <laughs> a lot faster than I did in my tutorial it took maybe about 20 takes and uh, what I like to do is I like to just fill out this chest over there with uh, the bone meal because it needs a lot of bone meal and then make a super duper condensed bone meal farm <laughs> I guess you can call it uh, with a chest there and let's see those are are they stairs I don't know if they're stairs or not but yeah, chest there, and then all this is going to get filled up with bone meal. I have a whole bunch of bone blocks over here, which I'm going to fill up with the bone meal. But that's going to be it. Now, what's going to happen is, if you didn't see the video, which I recommend you should see, because um, it's not going to open. All right, whatever. <laughs> that's that's good enough. I'll, uh, I'll figure another way of configuration out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I recommend you do see it, because what's going to happen now is... There's going to be one uh, brown coat villager standing on that block over there. And, ooh, I missed a vital part. I missed a vital part. You need to actually enclose this area with a, a glass block or any other block. Doesn't matter. And then place some water down over here. And then close that off completely. And then you need to till this soil. That's another thing. You need to till that soil. Now, like I was saying before... A brown coat villager is going to stand on this block over here, and then he's going to chuck out some food and to that guy standing on that block over there, but he won't be able to because this is going to block it, and it's going to go in that hopper and into that chest. What I'm going to do is have the hopper go all the way down to the bottom, and um, probably collect it down there because I don't want to come all the way up here. It's so hard to fly up here on the top row. But that's it. That's the farm all done. Now, if you want, you can just put uh, probably a block there and then get your soul touch pick out to get yes your glass back uh, like last time because uh yeah you don't want to you don't want to lose your stuff it's, it's valuable and that you don't really need and break that there i just want to pretty much place blocks so that zombies cannot jump up there and kill my villagers because that won't be fun if i have to get a brown coat all the way up here again and i don't want to do that i think i might transfer um oh, is that a slab uh, I'll, I'll slab it up over there just like that, just to make sure that no zombies can spawn or get them. I'll have to condition the area a whole lot better. But that's pretty much the farm all done and dusted. Just got a slab there, slab there. That is a slab. Is that a slab height? I think so. I don't know. I don't know. Which is a full block? Which is a full block? Full block is there. Yeah, that's a slab height. Perfect, perfect. So yeah, that's the farm all done and dusted. I'll probably transfer a villager at the end of the episode in... Uh, just to see how many uh, potatoes or carrots, probably going to do potatoes, I can get by the end of the episode. But this is the farm all done and uh, dusted. Don't mind the clicking noise, but as you see right now, the farm is working. And actually, I had a little bit of problems with this. At first, he was just planting the crops. He wasn't throwing the food at this guy. And I was wondering what was going on, because I built the exact same way in my video. And then it turns out, I actually need to let them get eye contact. Because if I go the... Uh, the hitbox, I think it's F3 and B? F3 and B. Yeah, you can see that his gaze, they weren't at the same level. Hold on, let me get on the block so you guys can see. Yeah, their gazes weren't at the same level. So he was never throwing the food to that guy, and I was wondering what was going on. I sat here for an hour and nothing was happening. So what I did is I put a little bit of water in there, had him jump up. And then when that villager realized he was there, he started throwing the food. So I think that's what I'm going to have to do to this side. Because this side isn't working yet. The only problem is, these two villagers... 
they might have an inventory full already because those are two brand new villagers I got from the uh, villagers in the ground over there and these guys have been in my farm for a while so his inventory might be full already and let me just see if that trick will work for them I think I have to go two blocks like that so what I did is I just surrounded this area like that and I had a water bucket it might be hard to do with this guy only because oh, okay no there we go so then I did like that and then that villager eventually realized that he was there and then when he realized, he started throwing the food. Let's see. Let's see. His inventory might be full, so I might have to switch that guy out for someone else. But at least I know the potato farm is working. And yeah, look, you can see him. You can see him. Oh, they're making eye contact. Did he throw anything? Let me see if I can kickstart it. <laughs> Break that crop there. Let's see if he gets kickstarted. <laughs> oh, well... I'll probably have to switch him out for another villager, only because his inventory is probably full, because they've been throwing food at each other for a very long time in that village. Yeah, see, that that's the problem I had. He only plants it and doesn't replant it like this guy. So for sure, this inventory is full, and I'm going to have to switch out that villager, but it shouldn't be hard, because I've been trapping zombie villagers all the time in this world. So, I'll do that eventually another day. At least I know I'm going to get a lot of potatoes. <laughs> I mean, a lot of potatoes. It's only been running for, I think, about five minutes. I would say five minutes it's been running properly, and I have that many potatoes. So I fear for my potato storage. <laughs> I really fear for my potato storage. I'm going to get a lot. But I love it. This barn is coming along very well. You can see down over here, I've actually started... What is that? What was that? Oh my goodness, that's a creeper. Oh, <laughs> Good thing I saw that in the corner of my eye. Oh, man. I would have had a barn disaster. But, you can see, oh no, I... Oh. Wait, these swords don't have knockback? Thank you. Uh, you can see that on the floor of here, I made the little pattern, pretty much breaking up the floor with the uh, stairs and the blocks, and that looks really nice. And what I'm doing right now is adding in the hay bales to the sides of the posts like that, and that is making the barn look really, really good. What I'm going to do now is get some spider webs, add some spider webs in the corner over there, and maybe get some spiders. <laughs> some spiders actually tried to kill me when I was up there. Uh, but yeah, no, I love how this barn is turning out. I love how it's turning out. So pretty much on the post over here, you're going to see there's going to be a bunch of hay bales, just like that. Up, up, up. Just chucking them down. Break the torch. Chuck them down, chuck them down. Blop, 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 blop. And probably one right there. Uh, it's way too straight. Way too straight. Break that. And yes, there we go. So just like that, around those posts over there, just to add a little bit more texture to the barn. But I love how it's turning out. So let me just go get some spider webs real quick and add them to the corners over there. Yep, it was just that that villager there's inventory was already full. So what I did is I moved him over there and I'll transfer him to the library once we get the library going. But now both farms are working. I'm debating whether or not I want to do a wheat farm because I've actually never tested it for a long period of time with wheat. So I don't know if that guy's inventory will fill up with just seeds and then not wheat. I'll have to see, and then I'll probably put that right in the smack middle right over here. But you can see that this carrot farm is not working, and this potato farm has been up for about, uh, I guess, 45 minutes, and I have that many potatoes. So like I said before, I am fearing for my inventory. But I guess it all it all depends on the bone meal, because once the bone meal runs out over there, it's only going to grow nice and slow, so the farm will slow down, which is great. But it is good to see both farms working, and I can't wait till those chests fill up. Now, what I want to do to end off the stream is go back over here into my outhouse and... Ow. And flush the toilet. <laughs> what are you doing on this flusher? And then flush the toilet and go into my secret base and uh, work on this pathway over here. Um, Track Prince 25 did a, did a decent job. I think I can do a lot better over here. Uh, what I'm going to do now is just dig out this entire area over there. I do have now my ender chest with my beacon in it, so I can get that out and then finish that off. For the walls, I maybe... Eh, I was thinking about doing like a forest, so having just not normal walls and maybe trees on the side over there. But I can't... There's not a lot of room to work with. If you see, I'm pretty... Oh, if you see over here, I'm pretty close to the surface, so I can't really make tall trees. And, uh, I don't know, I can probably think of a design, but I might just finish off the pathway over there, and then maybe in my live stream, finish off the walls and put the trees down over there. So I think I'll do that. Let me just first dig out this entire area and figure out what I'm going to do for the rest of the path. Now, I find it a little bit weird that I'm going to end off this episode in the exact same spot, 
and the exact same way, meaning that I am not going to be able to finish this all in this episode, because, yeah, this is a giant tunnel right over here, and I have the design that I want to use for the tunnel, pretty much all the blocks, or most of the blocks in my inventory, the cobblestone, the gravel, the mossy cobblestone, vines, slabs, and the gravel, and the leaves, and probably some other oak and a spruce slabs, my favorite blocks, spruce, I'm going to be putting it pretty much on the wall, and it's going to be like an overgrown tunnel design. Right now, it looks like just a giant uh, green uh, red carpet. Well, not green red carpet. A giant green carpet going all the way over there, but that's going to change, and it's going to be more live stream work. But pretty much for the palette, what it's going to be is a block there, and a block there, and a block there with this block. It didn't go in my hot bar. This block there, and then going up to more grass over here, that, that, that. And that's not grass, that is food. And it's going to be a while since I get the exact design that I'm going to go for. Only because there's going to be a lot of ups and downs and trees and then bushes just hanging from the wall. Just splat, splat, stuff like that. <laughs> and that just looks ugly. But I guess if I do that a little bit more and when the grass grows, I can get some path going all along over there. It's going to look a whole lot better. But... Sadly, this is not going to be done this episode, and I'm going to have to end it off right over here, guys, because this episode has actually stretched on a little bit longer than I like, probably because I did a lot of redstone work. So this episode was more of like a redstone episode, and I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. Thank you for watching. This has been Tracking25, and I'll see you guys in the next, whoa, what did I just do? Episode. <laughs>